Okay, I think we've managed to unfuck everything. Uh, yeah, OBS still reset everything, but apparently I had Drakir's uh, audio wired wrong on Discord, that it would send it on the same channel as the game audio. But yeah, hopefully it is fixed now, and hopefully the audio balancing is still somewhat okay. Because I, we did a quick... Uh, a quick audio test recording. The game might be a bit soft. And again, we're getting harassed by a freaking chaos fairy here. It's still silent for me. The game itself is silent for me still. Okay, that that gives us a reason to all tap here. And let's see. Properties. No, not properties. This needs to be advanced audio properties. Monitor and output. And Therefore, monitor. I can see my own speech for now. I don't know if that's the correct term to call it, but that's why I call it for now a speech bar. Uh, let me try. But... Let me try screen sharing it again. All right. Okay. Can you hear the music? Uh, no. Maybe I need to do that. Hmm. Can we do that just in case? There we go. Since, since Discord's fucked with the settings, maybe you have it that you can't hear... Uh, can't hear the stream or something? Because it should be recording it and sending it to you. Well, we've been, been able to watch series uh, since then. Uh, wait, no. Wait, yeah, maybe... maybe uh, you showed me some Minecraft, and I was able to hear them. Mm. And that was like... yesterday? No, oh. last week at the very least. Okay. Nope. You really can't hear anything? Nope. Then again, no one speaks English to begin with here. Yeah, the, the footsteps, I mean. Yeah, I can't hear the footsteps. Not the mute. Okay, something is... <clears throat> it is set. I know for a fact that it should be a, a record. Uh, OBS should be listening to the audio of the game. And uh, because of that, it should be sending it over uh, Discord. But apparently it's just fucking not. Yeah, unless... Uh. Wait. Put him, if I put myself on Don't Disturb, that should not block that out, does it, should it? Yeah, turn that off. Maybe it, it does. Yes. That, that oh. would be rather stupid. Yeah, but we already know that Discord has been fucking idiots in the past with resetting stuff. Okay, there we go. And I see here no sound. It did not help. Mm. Did they change things up or something that they... OBS doesn't, isn't allowed to listen to itself anymore or something. Uh, you know, so much for for evil this time with this. Uh, mm, I, yeah. I have no idea how to freaking fix this now then. Yeah, then again, the good part with Sansar is no, the only one that speaks English is uh, the main character and he rarely speaks to begin with. True, but there's also just the game sounds and such, <laughs> and just your reactions to how each of the uh, fairies laugh differently, while well, most of yeah. them do. So I have heard most of them by now. Okay, there's a full-on walking skeleton over there. Oh dear. Um. Hmm. So, like, I'm fine to not be able to hear the game in this occasion. However, I just pray at least it's being captured for stream, at least. Hopefully. Yeah, it was re it was captured on the re test recording, so it should be a it should be on stream as well because that listens to the same audio channels. Yeah. But after this, we're definitely going to need to screw around with just how things have gotten themselves messed up. Yeah, and we probably should even test like a like if you. Yeah, we should see if you can still share me videos. True. 
Because that would put a damper in a lot of our afternoons, and that's quite the throne that they built here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like but something yeah, that it... the dwarves from Dwarf Fortress would make, and I I was go heading for the wrong platform. Yes, you were. But yeah, it, it would also identify where the problem is. If it's this code or what... Actually, yeah, this code had an update today. Okay. And, and I restarted my PC just for the update. Hmm. Can I even... Can we even get to that? I guess we can. Uh, hello. But we, we can actually talk with them. I didn't know that. Wait, okay. what? Uh, you shouldn't spend too long in this sinister world or you'll finish up like us. I was curious to see what the Shadow Realm is like, so I traveled the dark... Uh, colonnades? Labyrinths? What the hell is that word? I... It sounds similar to colon, but, uh... I'm not sure if they would use a word like that in this game. Uh, the Vicious Shadow Elves barred the way home, so I have been trapped here for years, which hasn't done my consistency any good at all. You, know, you see my mate in the corner there? He's even worse off than I am. He wanted to find one of those strange fire fairies and get lost in the Shadow Realm. And got lost in the Shadow Realm. But everyone knows fire fairies live in the great lava caves under the mountains. And we we haven't gone there yet, actually. And uh, these are these are. Wait, does this mean that they, this guy will react if we show him a fire? Fa uh, now we can talk with him. Uh, we actually haven't gone into the fire uh, uh, into the volcano, and we didn't get the fire cards, which we should be able to now with the well, fire fairies and ice fairies that we have. There. And I actually forgot to stop and start. The timer. Uh, oh well, uh, it's it's 20:30 now, so we can go for. We'll try for two hours from now. Okay. Oh, a fairy collector in this cheerless place. I spent years for my favorite uh, searching for my favorite fairy, the fire fairy uh, Pix. I was told I'd find it somewhere under Sanzara. My long journey led me here. However, I seem to have changed in all the time I've spent searching the Shadow Realm. I daren't go back to the surface now. I never found pigs down here either, though. I'd give anything to see that wonderful fairy just once. Unfortunately, all I have is this mysterious bone key. Uh, but you can have it if you bring me pigs. That's a promise. Are, wait, does that mean that we're now required to go... Uh, to the... Hmm. I don't remember the disc at all. Though it does seem like this is a bit of a dead end. And there it, there should be another bone door for us to get through. So I guess that does mean we're forced to go to the uh, to the volcano. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, also, were those skeletons humans? Uh, they're certainly human sized, like all of the bones around here. Yeah, For so far we know that uh, this Denizens, if that's the correct term, of this world are not very tall to begin with. Yeah. Unless they exiled everyone above five feet down here. Yeah, dude, that would be weird, for the only tall one is the White Druid. Yep. Hmm. Okay, let's head back and check if we did open up that third door or not. I think we didn't. And, yeah, then we'll have to go to the forest, get the fire uh, cards, which should be behind the forest hut. For that, we'll have to go back to uh, the fairy garden, uh, head through the woods, get to the forest hut again, then fight off the bunch of nature fairies guarding the cards. Oop, didn't mean to catch it. Oh, um, dear. Then head over to Mo Monagam, go down into the volcano, and capture a pix there. And oh, I think whilst we're away from here, we might as well just stock up on a bunch of freaking garlic atomizers. That's probably good idea. And I just realized it's kind of oddly nice to not hear the music since we've been hearing the same music over. Over and over and over and over again. 
Uh, I, I have less of a problem with that because I do like the music. But then again, I yeah. grew up with it. I might have just gone mad and grown to love the pain. <laughs> yeah, like, I usually don't mind repetitive uh, music, but there's a line, like, it's the same combat music every single time. Yeah. Uh, and, of course, motherfucker threw it off the ledge. Uh, <laughs> and in my annoyance, I throw Amy off the ledge. Yeah, it's, it's been a rough... Uh, so that, uh, uh, actually, did you update uh, your uh, Discord today? It hasn't bothered me about uh, an update, so... I don't actually know, but yeah, we need that key, so we need a pix. So, yeah. Over to the fairy garden we go then. Hmm. I, I don't feel. I've played this game to death back in the day, but I, I don't remember this at all. Hmm. That's very confusing. And as well, we, we did. You did show me a very short stream or something this week. Hmm. Uh, something about Minecraft that you were showing one of your experimentations. Uh, yeah, I was screen sharing uh, that, but that wasn't that wasn't through OBS. Hmm. Yeah, that was just through Discord. That worked. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, that means that the issue is likely still with OBS, and it's somehow refusing to work. Hmm. I, I yeah. can think of one thing to try, and we just passed a save point. You're going to save just in case. I'll tap, causing a soft crash. And then I'll go to advanced audio options here, and just turn this up on every damn track. Okay, close. Are you hearing stuff now? Uh, nope. Okay, so that didn't work. I... Hmm. I, yeah, this I've is said... weird. Yeah, it's it worked before. If I do this and then close it, do you hear anything now? Nope. Okay, but that should have silenced the game for the stream. And if I do this, it should uh, be back on for the stream. Uh, let's see, that's about six minutes in, uh, so I'll be able to test that later, or double-check that later. Hmm. Yeah, this, this is just plain bizarre of why, why OBS is refusing to listen to itself with this. Uh, haven't had this problem before, or something similar? Mm, we had it once where it didn't record or something. But mm -hmm. we managed to fix it then, I think, by just swapping around the outputs a bit. I don't ac accurately remember. Hmm. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I see it on here, uh, the game. Which is very weird. Yeah, I'll... Since we'll be walking for quite a bit anyways, I might as well just pick up my phone here and search if there's... OBS changed something to it. Uh, let's see. So, come on. OBS. Monitor. Monitor audio not working. That might be it. Let's see. Monitor audio monitoring doesn't work. Get, out, get lost, Lana. Let's see, as that page loads in, and I half-heartedly fight this thing. Uh, you started out trying OBS. Love everything. Audio monitoring doesn't seem to work. Okay. Uh, that's with a capture card, though, so that might be an issue all on its own. Let's see. Ta -da. Mm -hmm. The source will be output to the monitoring audio device. Okay, monitoring audio device can be set in... Did it reset there as well? 
good chance because it seems to have reset nearly all of the audio settings. So we'll head to the next checkpoint here. And then I'll check if it resets the monitoring device as well. Which, from everything we've been dealing with, is likely what is happening. Yeah, for... If we were really only reset parts of the thing. For the rare times we had issue with OBS, we reset everything. It reset everything. Yeah. I'm, I'm, de I'm definitely going to need to store a save or... Wait, this is the wrong place. Well, yeah, you did for some reason. Or was it just a visual, visual thinking? Hmm. Or uh, your visual thinking? You wish you could do it or something? <laughs> uh, wait. Now, I know there is a way to store a pro. Wait, did we go a full circle here, or... No, that would be the stream over here otherwise. But yes, there is this... But the, this should be the way to this... Let's head back and double check the sign, because that should say to the forest hut. And I don't... Did we just pass by the exit to that? Hmm. That's to the, to the forest hut. Okay. No. Well, so that is... Audio, let's see, disabled, disabled, disabled. Where is the monitoring one? Let's see. Monitoring, uh, it, it, it changed the monitoring device. Um, let's see, what do I put this on then? Hmm. Cable. That's a test one, two. Three, four, five. Hmm. Disable Windows audio docking, whatever that means. Um, hmm. Let's... Okay, can you hear anything now? I can hear you, but not the game. Mm. So if you're off screen, I probably would not hear the game to begin with. And uh, the game is being, this game sound is being recorded at the moment. I can hear it at the very least. And while well, we can both see the bar moving. Oh, all right. That's what it's moving about. All right. And it's still weird why I can't hear it. Hmm. Okay. I Something's off here. It was set to cable A inputs. And let's see. Did I, did I manage to screw this around or something? It's input device, microphone, no. Um, wait, if I put this to this, can you hear the game now? Nope. Okay, the hell... I have my volume half volume, mm. but I don't dare to re uh, raise it up more due to previous experience. Let's see. Voice. Why? Mm. Okay. I'm, at least we know where to look now. But we'll have to figure that out next time then. It's still... Freaking bizarre that it's... Yeah. yeah it's really wait, freaking did... annoying that OBS decided to crop the bed with all of this. Yeah, where did the game go? Oh, there it goes. It, you know, again, it, it soft crashes when I all tap. Okay, for now at least we're... Yeah, we're going to need to get the fire cards, go to the volcano, get a pix. Get a bunch of garlic atomizer to deal with these nuisances. <sighs> yeah, I, I get the. F I probably had uh, a lot of uh, nostalgia glasses on with my memories of this game. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> yeah. Though, 
back then, when I was playing this for myself, I probably would have been capturing every single fairy I came across, or at least every single new fairy, so that I wouldn't have to deal with those, uh, <clears throat> those roadblocks before. Yeah, so you, you by accident avoided it, probably. Yeah. The only thing that I should have run into naturally then might have been the the, the Pix uh, roadblock because I I do not remember having to deal with those skeletons at all. Man. Well, how long ago was it you played last time? Uh, very long, probably more than ten years. <laughs> And, well, we, we already know that my memory is far, far, far from perfect. Yeah, like, I have good memory, but sometimes far back from an entire game? Yeah. You you would only remember as quick you see it. And then probably the... mostly the first parts, because that's your first impressions and all that. Yep. <laughs> okay. Fast bath. Okay, at least we have Mancray now to deal with these. And yeah, the passage to the forest hut should be dead ahead of us. Not sure how I could have missed that the last time we went around this area. But it very much seems that I did. Yep. Hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll chalk that up to a mix of annoyance and just distraction with OBS's. Come on! Uh. Yeah, I think I would have. I think back in the day I was a lot more. I had a far greater tolerance to grinding and such. Because for one example, I remember back in Pokemon Crystal, I managed to get a my starter Pokemon, uh, a Ferelegator, up to level 100 through sheer grinding. So yeah. Uh, the little Captain Hillian would have been a lot better to deal with grinding like this as such. Probably because... Wait, are we back here again? Okay, then it was the earlier passage that we should have taken. Uh, yeah, that was probably also because back in the day, yeah, we used to have... You, in your younger years, you generally have less, uh, far less... Uh, choice when it comes to gaming, and thus you would spend a lot more time on specific games. Yeah, that's true. Though, there were a time period where people were usually rushing the games, like, many kids skipped the store if, if they just wanted to do the cons and all that. And I almost went into that, but I laid, but part of me felt like, ain't that what I was sort of defeating the purpose of the game? Ain't the story part of the game? True. And later I just stopped caring about finishing the game as first point. I also wanted to do it properly. I'm like, I don't know how many times I restarted Final Fantasy X2, which was my first Final Fantasy. I, do, I did not know back then people hated it for some reason. I like it personally. I don't see anything, you know, anything wrong with it. But I restarted it, it I see on it several times because I noticed that I accidentally went past many important missions and other things uh, to improve my characters. Okay. Uh, it could be that you just don't have a measuring stick to compare to to compare it to other Final Fantasy games. Uh, I think I've said it a few times before, but my first and I believe only Final Fantasy game that I ever played was uh, Crystal Chronicles Rings of Fate on the DS. And from my experience, that was a pretty good game. And... Um, I don't hear a, a lot about it though, so I it could have been that it could have been that compared to everything else, it's considered terrible. But in my experience, it was a good and at least very competent game. <clears throat> yeah, but I know I was saying about the game. I felt very, I'm very really careful around any Final Fantasy fans or even to mention. For I know I have a, all the notice that some people are rather harsh 
Yeah, I, I think one of the reasons I've heard that people do not like Final Fantasy X and X2 is because... Uh, you know, I don't fully remember. Maybe it was because they considered uh, Lightning to be a Mary Sue or something, or to be just a Cloud clone or some something uh, like that. A bit of people loved X but hated X2. For the, some people, the X2 was just fan service. Which I'm unsure of. Like, I think I even now, as I got an audience, can see what they mean with some fan service, but I still like the story and all that. Hmm. So, and I heard that over the years, I talked to other Five Fantasy fans and said that they have instead that X2 is not as bad as many say, just. Yeah. Some really hardcore fans can be extremely loud and aggressive at some points. Yeah, it, well, it, it's not like we're planning to stream that at one at some point. Maybe someday. Uh, oh, come on, it's freaking oak skin again. I'm not blind. Okay, oak skin combined with the slow spell that is just really freaking annoying. Okay, let's just break that spell. Actually, fuck that. We're heading for the exit. <laughs> Uh. Uh. Wait. Wait. Be right back. Okay. And let's see. What exactly does this stupid pool do? Th two, three, two, and sixty-four. Okay, it heals a very small amount of health. It seems. That's odd. Okay. At the very least, this should be where the forest hut is with the fire. Yep, there it is. The fire card and the battle, or the fire card and its guardians should be round and round, yeah, right around the corner. Good. There we go. Back. Hey. Welcome back. And immediately we get attacked by Acilia. Actually, fuck that. We've seen enough fairy battles for. In the moment, so whenever we can flee, we're going to flee. Yep. Uh, well, it still feels weird to not hear any music, but at the same time, I am glad to not hear the bad music. Like, it is nice, but it has some tunes that do get old after a while, especially when we get repeatedly attacked. Yeah. Okay. Going to move flag win forwards. Fill up the mana. And yeah, oh, now with flag winning instead of uh, Tinazar, that speak of a uh, Tinazar, <laughs> speak of a Tinafall evolution, and he shall appear apparently. Oh, tough yeah. luck, little guy. I just realized something. There is a part of the game where they speak more English. It's when the narrator book comes up. Yeah, I, I don't think there will be any more of those, or at least I can't remember if there are any more. Let's hope not, for otherwise... Yeah... That will always be very tricky. Okay, here we go again. Versus a bunch of bugs and blue melas. Luckily, flag wind should be a... <sighs> immediately the stupid slow spell. And, of course... Oak skin. Mm. Yeah, now... Now they're just whittling down just to three things. And denying me the ability to attack. Mm. And that one has... Mm. Okay. Let's just start whittling away at their armor first with faster charging spells, then. Hmm. Yeah, th these horde battles are getting a bit bullshit like this. Yeah, I feel like if they're gonna give you that kind of battle, at least allow the player to also feel out more fairies somehow. 
Yeah, they'd have to be AI controlled then. That's a miss. Yeah. They will need to yeah. be AI controlled indeed, but still, it's better than this. Yeah. I, th I think the poor luck that we have right now is that multiple of them are armed with the slow spell. Which, well, is denying, uh, completely locking us out from being able to attack properly. So, yeah, we'll have to redo this a few times and hope that they just do not have that fucking spell. Uh, I, maybe it was in part tolerance to grind, or maybe there's something with the Steam version of this game that is just different compared to the retail version or something. But uh, yeah, just going to lay this one down and hope that we get a better hand dealt on the reroll here. I still don't mind grinding and stuff, but however, I feel like if you were to stream it, and you stream it for the story, then the grinding can get annoying for you. Yeah, as far as I be streaming for the story, then grinding on stream feels kind of counterproductive. Yeah, that there. There are streamers who can do it a lot better, but th those people are a lot more charismatic than I am. Yeah, though. I think a lot of portion of people that grind do grind off stream. Yeah. Usually. Just, be just because this little fucker isn't in our collection yet, I'm going to grab him. Just in case? Yeah. And just to be a bit spiteful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fill that up again. Start healing up, because I'm pretty sure I forgot to do that as well. Uh, do that. And everyone should be good on the amount of mana that they have. <sighs> okay, save. That way the, that way the uh, bug should stay in our collection even if we lose here. Okay, this time let's let double check what spells they have. Let's see. Okay, razor blade, that's pretty good. It's only more damage, not slow down. Also razor blades, razor blades, light spurs. Okay, that's going to be annoying. Light spurs and light spurs. Okay, so we have to deal with these little jackasses first. And oh, that's a far that's far less cover. But they don't have protective spells this time, so they can get fucked. That's one gone, and almost us gone as well. And gone. Okay. He has protection. He does not. Okay, we know who to bully. Wait, wasn't there only three of you supposed to be? Hmm. One of them is down. Okay, there's four of them. Okay, I missed that bit. That one's protected. Hmm. Yeah, I, I feel like like the system how that, that it's randomized every time you try. Is not a good system. Yeah. Okay. Like, sure, you can spice it up, but at the same time, the drawbacks can be severe. Sounds it goes from skill to just having luck. Okay. Mancra is going to get zapped mine here instantly here. Hmm. Yeah, it, it really depends. I really can't tell if the randomized spells and the uh, yeah, fairies thing is was in the retail version of that was patched in with the Steam version or not. 
It would hmm. be weird if that's in the Steam version. Yeah, it could have been that it was an original patch or something that you could download from the internet that I just never ran across. Hmm. Let's see. I don't think we have any different fire spells. Specifically, I remember something... Uh, let's see. Burning Soul, Fire Rate 1, Fire Rate 1. Okay, so we did get... Hmm. Let's, let's put Burning Hands there, then. It'll charge slower, but it'll do a lot more damage. 20% more damage in case of a critical hit. Fire Arrow is as good as worthless, if you ask me. Since it can only fire five times. Do we have any... Okay, magic... Sh oh, th this one should be good. There. Deal the same damage back to them five times. So, oh, or... Hmm. Okay, swapping... Quick thinking. 40% faster spell charge. Let's put that there. Instead. And then we put burning... Hmm. Do, do we put that on the on the spell that already has faster charging, or do we use that to speed up the slower spell? Uh, let's let's do it like this at the moment. To be able to slow spell can be good, provided we can make sure we hit. Yeah. Uh, ball of ice, three, two, two. Frozen spirit, great hail. Let's see. Let's put Frozen Spirit on. Then we put a Ball of Ice as the second. Absorb Mana. Spells are recharged 100% faster. If we, oh, we can't actually do that because that is Ice, Ice, and Water there. Not I, three Ice like this requires. Now let's see. Prevent Status Chains. Prevent Status... Uh, that's, that's Movement Speed. Magic River... Magic support. Okay, it's just upgraded versions. Prevent status chains. And that's already equipped. Might as well put that oh, there oh. then. I did not expect that that's what the whole things below were about. Hmm. It's caused 50% less damage. Okay, that is... That is staying equipped. Hail of knives. Slight insanity. Call of water. Hmm, it, it might... Yeah, let's fight fire with fire on Oceana, at least. And I hope that ticking sound whenever I move stuff around with this isn't too annoying. Let's make man cray faster. Or bear in preparation. Hmm. And put down a save to keep all of that stored up. No. Oh, dear. Let's give this another try, then. Okay. Large root. That's better. Also large root. And... Okay. This time, both two of these have... caused poison damage, but they have oak skin. But the ones... Okay. This one has bird skin. Okay, so the ones that don't have defense, we should prioritize. And, okay, not the best place either. Yeah, okay. now I know I misheard you there. I thought you said bird skin. <laughs> That's one of them gone already. This is a lot better when there's only one of them hexing us. But still, we're getting a beating. And that was a shielded one. And that was a miss. <laughs> okay, we can ignore the blue melas. Uh, that was an unshielded one. Okay. So, just... There we go. That should have been the one with the slow casting spell on it. So now we should be a... We should be good now. I... Hope. Hmm. Need a little fast. That's a shielded one. Actually, we should probably. I'm going to focus on the blue melas at the moment. 
or just try and get a hit on anyone I can. I should probably not self-hurt for that. Hmm. Okay, that's shielded. We're going to break that. What the fuck? You have the slow spell. Okay, we're breaking that shield. There we go. That's gone. And that's Oceana gone. Okay. Then it's just another freaking shield. And I thought I killed all of the ones that had the slow spell. What the hell is going on? The ones without shield, the ones with shield didn't have the light spur spell. So why the hell do or it was in their second set or something? Maybe. <clears throat> Man is useless here. <laughs> well, this was our best. This was our best shot so far, but apparently the game's decided fuck you anyways. Yeah, this is problem with the system I have here. I feel like it has way too many chance to just give it the middle finger. This is not a good big game balance. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's so give it one more shot, and if they fuck us over again, uh, I say we just off-screen this. It's not like we've been doing... Uh, it's not like we the stream's been going well anyways so far anyways. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, oh, of course, now the Blue Melas have it. Oh, one of them has it. Okay, one of them has it now. And with these, we know that the first Blue Mela has it. So if the second one is on the field, then only one of these should have it. But it... Okay, this one has... Okay, it has it on the second set, but also it has Oak Skin there. Do... Horse freaking Thorn Armor, Thorn Armor, and Thorn Armor. So it's going... But it, we're going to know which one we need to go after by the one that is taking full damage. Or something like... No, this one, the, this it, it's this one. It should be this one because the other ones would have the, would be taking zero damage. Hmm. Okay, just gotta aim for the hurt one. Actually, let me double check something. Let's see, metal. Okay, metal is good against nature, and I remember, I think I remember whenever I got my hands on metal fairies, I would immediately start using them. And metal fairies are extremely powerful for that, uh, even at low level. So, before we call it bullshit on this, we're going to London, and we're going to grab Gigarax. Oh dear. Yes, I remember Gigarex being very useful in this game. Uh, let's see, where are you? Gigarex, there you are replacing Mancray. Hmm. Okay, one more try, even though we have to go back all the way over again. I don't... Hmm. Gigarex is extremely low level compared to everything else. Hmm. It might not do anything at all, but if we fail again, I'm just going to off screen uh, grind and get Gigarex up the level. Because they, even at, at level 11, they already have over 100 HP, which is quite a lot, I think. Actually, let me double check the fairy book. Okay, it's not maxed out, but still pretty good on the hit points. <sighs> First stream of this weekend is very rough. Yeah. 
half an hour now of just running over and failing to beat those bloody fairies. Maybe uh, it, it. Maybe we are very underleveled for this. Mm. It, we, we might be due to be a bit sort of rushing it. I mean, it didn't take proper days to uh, off-stream grind it, as we said we would. Uh, we did that once. Uh, we, we didn't say we would do it multiple times, but if we fail this again, then I am going to just grind off-screen until... Uh, I'll, I'll try to get... I'll try to get uh, Flag win up to level 40, same with Grease Lock, and we'll see what I can get uh, <clears throat> Giga Rex 2. You wonder what was more twisted about this so far? Uh, what then? I sort of made a joke that you know you're not using your regular uh, water bottle, that, that the stream is doomed, that you're not u using your lucky water bottle, and... Lo and behold, it might be true. Uh, uh, sorry, what, what were you saying? Yeah, that, that look, <laughs> see that, it, basically saying, yeah, that's exactly what's happening because, yeah, the, the, the water bottle I, I usually use is just in the washing machine because that stuff needs to be cleaned out every now and then. And instead, I have a different water bottle next to me. It is just a, a Sprite bottle filled with cold water. Uh, even before that, you need to re you need to resource your headset. Yeah, I, I should I should have kept that thing charged more. It, it, it almost sounds like it was doomed from the start. <laughs> okay, let's double check again. Health. Uh, Gigarex can use a bit of mana. Um. Everyone else is mostly good on health and mana. Uh, yeah, Gigarex, I should be able to just level a bit normally. For the other ones, I'll probably be using Golden Carrots. I don't remember how much they cost. But with the amount of cash that we have and how quickly we can get it, it should be doable to get everyone to level 30 and 40. And I'm surprised we haven't been harassed by wild fairies now. That's kind of weird. Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, let's put Bonaria up front so we can deal with any shields. That way we don't have to waste our effective spells. Okay. Okay, you have Thorn Armor on your second set. You have Oak Skin on your second. Bird Skin is a lot less harsh. 20% uh, and Oak on secondary. Eight oak Skin on primary. Oak Skin on secondary. And on secondary. Ugh. Okay, at least we have a map with a lot more cover now. And we have one with a shield, so we can Im immediately start getting dapped down. Yeah, at least the shield is, is per hit. Yeah. Not a certain amount, so... If it's per hit, then you rather use a lot of weaker spells against it, just to get rid of it quickly. Get it really fast. I guess the shield is meant to just nullify strong spells. Yeah. Okay, that's a good amount of it gone. Uh, let's actually get Giga Rex in for a bit. And yeah, you can see how uh, I was going to say how strong, but at least in the attacks, at least Giga Rex is very strong and very fast charging as well. That's Blue Mela with the shield and. Mm -hmm. That's one of the little fox gone. That's the shield that remains. <sighs> yeah. We're going to have to grind off screen here or just get really, really, really fucking lucky on this. Yeah, <sighs> I think 
I think uh, grinding is the answer, and let's make it still gold and a fire thing or something. At, at the very least, uh, there should be high level fairies for me to grind against here, like this level 41. Which should give Gigarex quite a bit of experience, of course. Ugh. Yeah, these these spells are so f really f fucking annoying. I think it had it had oak skin. Did it swap over to a spell set with the? No, it had thorn armor. Did it swap over? Actually, yes, it did swap over because it wasn't using the slow spell before. So now it has oak skin. Since, of course, that hurts myself. Ugh. Yeah, these nature fairies are getting more and more on my freaking nerves with all of the bullshit. Yep, and I didn't. It's going to give less experience because of this. Uh, actually, maybe I should just do this entire fight off stream. Fuck you, I do not want you. The question is, what, uh, why do we need to fight them again? Because of that over there on the branch, the fire cards. With that, we can't get... With, without that, we can't get in... We can't get deep into the volcano, and without getting deep into the volcano... We can't uh, get a pix to show to the skeleton for, in exchange for the last bone key. Okay, I yeah, the could... was the fire card. I could... Uh, we did... We could rush in to that one spawn area that is within reach and hope that a pix spawns there. Actually... Hmm... Actually, let's give that a try. Just try and... If, if the game is going to cheat, we might as well try and cheat ourselves as well. Yeah, so... Uh, as you said, uh, that, that... You know I think about this. The more unlikely I feel like they would add this... ...behavior in a patch for that song. It would sound more like a downgrade... ...for yeah. the mobs to be randomized. Open up. We, we know we can reach one spawn point here. So if we are lucky, we might be able to get a pix to spawn there. Then we can, yeah, capture that. Also, don't ask me why is it called the dark caves? Is it lit the hell up with lava? <laughs> um. Uh and we need an air fairy to get past that. Okay, so it's another detour. Oh dear. Uh, uh, all I, right. I can see why this game didn't do well in the sales back in the day. Yeah, and I was going to concentrate on that. Randomized mobs can be fine when used right, like when you go near a tree or something, but on special battles like that, and the skills are randomized, and even mobs is sometimes randomized, that's not good. And but there's also just the fact that these spells are just complete bullshit as well at times. Like let's have a let's have a little look at that spell light spurs. Uh where it's actually should be at the top here. Slight quake, falling tree, which is the poison one, razor blade, which is the damage one, light spurs. Uh twenty thirty no what now that's razor blade, that's light spurs here. 30 chances, 30 shots, and it decreases spell charge by 80%. That should be like 10 or 5 charges maximum. What the heck? Yeah, that's... Yeah, that, that's, that spell is just plain ass broken as all hell. <clears throat> <sighs> okay. Let's give it 10 more minutes. If we can't find a pix in that time, we're calling it. And then I'll just I'll just do all of this off screen. I'll 
I'll keep throwing my I, I'll keep banging my head against the wall dealing with the fire uh, with the nature fairies until I beat them and then I'll next time I'll start a stream after that okay now it's yeah. called the lava caves it, it, the only reason we started up the stream again was for we hoped to hopefully finish it today but yeah, that's yeah. not happening <laughs> it's not happening yeah. at all and hopefully next time we have everything working again normally okay we can get to there before we become quote unquote toasted but that pillar should be a spawn point where it, it acted like one earlier i think or was it that one there yeah, we go the, but after this we should definitely see uh, just just go to youtube or our usual uh, thingy just to see if everything works normally there just if it is just the uh, obs or discord and apparently metal is good against fire, so this will be a good place to train Gigarex as well. 69 damage, really. There we go. <sighs> it, did, it did ignite us, though, it seems. <laughs> yes, the more thing about it, it... If it was this good, it shouldn't... Then I shouldn't be able to hear you. Yeah, it's OBS. Something is screwing with OBS. Okay. Yeah, and I, I tested to watch a music thing that a friend linked me, and I could hear the music just fine. Okay, so it's we... probably not on my end once again. Okay, let's give it a few more tries for the spawn point. Or I, I hope this doesn't just spawn drag wings, because that would be really freaking annoying. Do something, my people. So, did it reset our level as well? Hmm. And level 14. Okay. We're going to keep that in mind for once we respawn. Level 14 and toast it. Okay, and then we reset here. I, you actually could see Luria move back there for a bit. And okay, that does reset experience. That is annoying. So, unless I manage to quick save after each of those battles, it's not going. I'm, I'm not going to retain any <laughs> experience from these battles. Hmm. Let me guess, if you had a fire card, this would be easier. Yeah, we wouldn't be getting this at all. And it does seem like it is only spawning drag winning. Hmm. Oh dear. At least we tried. At least yeah. we, now, we now know there's something wrong somewhere. So, again... Next time, everything should be working in order. Hopefully. I'm just glad I noticed that, that my own voice bar was missing. Yeah, at least we noticed it before we were streaming for two hours straight. Yeah, like, I think this is a benefit of you just showing me your OBS like this. Yeah, you, you, can for... work, you, you can act as a bit of a quality engineer. Yeah, do... Noon has been an ex good at extra pair of eyes. Hmm, no spawn this but time. But all the issues. Yeah, but we'll need to figure out why the hell OBS is refusing to listen to itself. No spawn again. Did I, did I exhaust the spawn point or something? Or did I mess it up by saving so quickly? Hmm. Yeah, again, no spawn. Yeah, I, I think I think by saving the the spawn point counts as defeated. So let's run back here for a sec, then head back in. Uh, uh, and no, still inactive. Okay, so 
Hmm. Let's try this again to hopefully reset it. Uh, if nothing spawns this time, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this seems... <laughs> we seem to have broken the spawn point. Uh, yeah, that means we're going to have to bloody grind. <laughs> um, let's see. And we had say we were to grind. Like, How many days do you take to grind? Uh, we said I. I said I'd take one. Uh, I'd grind for it at one time, so we, we could. Uh, I forget who we were going to beat, but we beaten them. Let's see. Um, Bonaria put you back in the uh, group. And yeah, that means I'm going to have to grind. Let's see. Gigarex, Greaselock, and uh, in game Drakir are strong against Forest Fairy. So if I head over to that spot again and just grind the Wild Fairies there over and over and over again. I should be good for the amount of experience gains. Actually, before we do that, let me actually go look how uh, how costly the golden carrots are. That's in Tyrolin to the... Uh, actually, we don't actually know which directions north, east and west are here, but it's in the left side of the city. So it, once the camera stops humping the the wall. We head over this way. And... Um, hmm. I forget if we actually checked behind this gate or not. So first off, let's check the, the rare items vendor. I'm on sure as well. Uh, do we have... Okay, nothing special there. Okay, 250. That is quite a bit. And 40 for garlic atomizers. Hmm. So for 3,000 gold, that would be 12 levels for one fairy. And, oh, this gate is locked, so we, have, we haven't gone this way at all. Okay, then. It's interesting. A fairy master from the human world. I still can't believe the druid cast a chaos in Zanzara, so he has locked up our dwarf master Quinlan and blames us dwarves. I see you've collected an interesting combination of fairies. Are you up for a fairy duel against me, Iric the fairy master? I get the feeling we could have talked with him a hell of a lot earlier. He probably would have said something different. For now though, uh, yeah, level 15, level 11, level 9, uh, this is going to be like picking on a a toddler. Yeah, we could have done this ages uh, ago. That's the second time I heard that phrase this week. What, Actually, on the toddler? Third time. Uh, yeah, or a. Yeah, basically that. Just, uh, just another version like a bullying babies. Or, no, bullying toddlers. Um. Hmm. I've been watching some uh, people play uh, Digimon Survive. <laughs> and some Digimon, three Digimon that were very weak, attacked some people and some people defend themselves and... Yeah, one of them just screamed, You should not even fought them! It was, it was like you were bullying toddlers! Uh, you've, you've said multiple times already that Digimon Survive is good, but... From what I've seen of the gameplay, I'm not sure if it's uh, something I'd enjoy. I I enjoyed uh, the, I enjoyed one of the Fire Emblem games, and it looks like it would play a lot like uh, one of those. Uh, but I'm just not very good with turn-based strategy like that. Yeah, no, this one is also a bit more more heavily on visual novels. And here's another thing I, I know it like it's a good game. However. Some people negative reviews are basically hating that it's a, a visual novel. Okay. That's how not you re review things. And some people that have reviewed it, like Utaku and such, 
This is someone that, that hates visual novels, so we review a visual novel, yeah. like, no. And they said early on it was to be a very visual novel with some turn-based element. They said it early on. What do people do? Too much dialogue, too wordy, too little combat, too much story. So a bunch of idiots. Yeah. Yeah, like, <sighs> it was promoted to be visual novel, then they complain afterwards. Like, come on. And people that some of you that have seen play it have said it is good. And I play it so far, and I can say this, but it's worthy, at least it's easy to read compared to the uh, uh, Digmon story Cyber Sleuth and Hacker Story. Like, they were not, not visual novels, but bloody heck. So much to read at times. wordy, yeah. Uh, but yeah, leaving that aside then for now. Uh, maybe someday we'd stream Cyber uh, Digimon Stories because the, I did enjoy that game. It is also rather grindy, but it is very good. But that for now, let's grind. just turn back to Sanzara for now. Oh, oh, wait, one more thing. Digimon Story 3 is in the works. Okay, you did say something like that. Yep. Uh, but yeah. You fight However, well. I don't know. Uh, Sorry, go on. Uh, you fight well. At last I find a fairy master who is my equal. Well, with level 10 fairies, that wouldn't be too hard. I'm Eirik, a widely traveled fairy master. Do you want to find out more about rare fairies? There is a legend of the perfect fairy combination among us dwarf. I'm s uh, dwarfs. I'm still looking for this invincible combination of dwarves. Yep, <laughs> fairies. <laughs> yeah. Every kind yeah, yeah. of fairy has their own strengths and weaknesses, but it is only in the right combination that your fairy abilities become important. <laughs> and, oh. <laughs> At what point did we get? Did we get that key? I think you found a key, and you were confused what it was for. Actually. The I think that's the same key we used for the iron gates. So why is that why was that used to lock off one of the main city's gates? Hmm. Okay. We can at the very least still go explore around here. See how strong yep. the fairies are. See maybe is this makes a good training ground that is less far away from all of the shops and such. As we are remain unharassed by wild fairies. Hmm. I don't remember a bridge like this ever in this game. Oh, oh, he oh, hello. Is this where I think it is? I uh, think this is where we can find light fairies. And immediately we get attacked by the exact opposite. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> uh, uh. Um, look at his belly. Yeah. He's taking the demon inside a bit too literal. Okay, where are you, you ugly mug? Or ugly I, mugs? I, I know people used to frail, uh, phrase that one's belly is growling, but... Not snarling. Yeah. Oh. Nope. Oh god, I just remember one of my own phrases, that it, it's easier to cook good food when your own belly is not screaming in your ears. Yeah. I don't know if that's an actual phrase I heard somewhere, or just one I made of my own, since I... Yeah, you know, you, you know how metaphorical it can be at times. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wait. Immediately use a mana potion. Maybe I should have a metaphor battle with the uh, smiling cat from Alice. <laughs> the Cheshire cat. And these sparkles uh, are very uh, easy to spot. Uh, tight. Oh, and I can hear a bloody pixie. Uh, you tight. Okay, level 39. So that probably means that most of around here are going to be level 40 ish. I'm going to nail you to the freaking wall. If I can land a hit. 
Thank you for the mental image of uh, something I probably have seen in somewhere. Like those butterflies nailed to uh, the walls and such. Yep, I think it recalls in some cartoon or something where they threatened to do that with a fairy. Yeah, they tend to be butterfly-like. Just look at all of, look at uh, Bonaria and her entire line, and Blumella, and there's the little bastards. Yeah, the, uh, right. The battle broke the platform. What is something like that in Gravity Fall? The ruins in the forest. I know that there were some unfortunate fairy deaths in Gravity Fall. I don't remember. Um, I think there were, might have been fairies, but they were more like the uh, the Willow Wisp kinds, like just a ball of uh, lights. Big butterfly wings. Also, I had an idea recently, like uh, I already showed you that uh, picture of you with the helicopter hat. <laughs> uh, but what in if instead uh, I made you uh, a wing pack? Like a Gigarax. I... I beg your pardon? Can you repeat that? I, I thought you said something ridiculous there. Wing pack, like a backpack with wing, a backpack with wings, <laughs> like the Giga Rex. Yeah. It doesn't have to be double winged. It could be just a single pair. Maybe Noon could actually make a, mon uh, a model of that because. Yeah, uh, apparently Noon has been doing 3D modeling stuff lately. I... Have you eaten blue goo that of late? Mm -hmm. No. Are you sure? I, I, I would never the... touch any cheese that it would look moldy. So you're not being uh, sniffing sulfur or any other alchemical things in your lab? No. But you, you start to sound insane. And this is news to you since when? <laughs> Point taken. Point taken. Especially since you blow up a hole in Mount Everest. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> okay, that is the scythe card. And there we go, light fairies. Fly on. Can you repeat her name? Yeah, Lyon. Oh, I thought you said Lyon. And... And got oh, instantly... They're, they're only vulnerable against Scythe. Everything else they are neutral to, or is ineffective against them. A curious outfit? And of course, every attack of theirs has to sound holy. In which version, like, are they attacking you with chair spells? And like, uh, chants and such. And let's just capture you quickly. I... Capture you for Why sure. Why am I suddenly burping? I finished drinking long ago. <laughs> Did you forget to air it again? No, no, this one uh, has been open for a while. And I smelled it quite uh, quickly, so it's not a drink. And again, I drank it up quite a while ago, like an hour ago. Okay, let's have a check. Fairy card of Psy magic. If a uh, Psy fairy is activated, it can find wild fairies in the, its surroundings with the map. For this uh, purpose, it turns its body towards the next wild fairy. Okay, this, this would be very useful in finding fairies. Oh, Triane. I think she is an evolution. Or 
I, I think she has an evolution. Hmm. Come here, you. Odd wings. Yeah, I, I think the fairy we got in the realm of clouds also had wings like that. So I think that might actually be her evolution. Get in the ball. Let's have a little look. Okay. Oh, Leon, evolution at level 28, then becomes Driane, and at level 38, they evolve in the one that we had before. Let's see. Light you fairies. Want to it away? Yeah. Light. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're probably still going to be pissed at me for that. Let's see. Light fairies come from a pure and distant world and are considered the most graceful beings of all. They glide across the, uh, the land in white gowns with long sleeves, every fabric no human hand could ever weave. Splendidly and with no less gracefully, this creature of a seemingly forgotten culture travels the unmarked paths of Zanzara as though it belonged nowhere else, displaying tremendous pride and dignity. The clothes somewhat resemble... Uh, what is the word again? Kimonos. Uh, it yeah, it, it looks like a hybrid of clothing. Like the 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 sleeves kind of makes you think of the ones that the geisha use. Like they use. Yeah, it kind of the who dress looks kind of geisha like, but also mixed with like. Yeah, it, actually, yeah, it looks hybrid for the. the that looks like a combination of a kimono and a robe. Also, I'd like to point out that uh, Gigarax here is, I believe, still under level 20. And they're kicking the ass of level 48 fairies. Just as a showcase of how powerful the metal fairies are. Bloody heck. It's just that these freaking nature fairies are just ganging up on us that is preventing Gigarex from being effective on all the other fairies. But I think I might have found where we're going to grind, or where I'm going to grind at least. So, yeah, we found some stuff of use at least. We found a grinding spot, we found the Psy cards. Which I'd actually forgotten is a fairy detector. Hey. And the Leone. And yeah, like the dark fairies, which is kind of fitting, the there's only three light fairies. There's three dark fairies and there's three... Wait, very effective. What? Wait, what the... Light. Metal should be ineffective against light. Why the hell is it super effective? What? According to the, the according to the type chart I have here, it sh they should be uh, ineffective against. Let did they change up that as well here or something? Uh, metal. Yeah, you can see light. Uh, left to right. The left is the attacker, and the upper side is the receiver. If I remember correctly, let's see. Yeah, attacker, defender. Metal should be ineffective against light. The hell is going on here? Leone. Light, yep. Yeah. The hell? Uh, did a bug happen or? Hmm. A oversight they forgot to fix? Maybe a, something is going wrong at the very least. It says, for hmm. all we know, they might just upload it to Steam and only make sure it were functional. Yeah. Hmm. Let's try this again. Let's take a hit and see what that does. Yeah, but why are we being shielded from? This is weird. Oop, yep. Of course. <laughs> hmm. 
I'll need to look into this because this might this might be pointing to some bigger issue with the games, perhaps. Because their Gigarack should be vulnerable to the light fairies, not super effective. Like a misprint and uh, forgotten thing to fix in game. Hmm. So I, I know there has been Dragon Kingship when the manual has been incorrect. Could be. Uh, let's revive Gigarax. Hmm. Yeah, that, that, that kind of undermines the whole Gigarax is doing well against fairies 40 levels higher. Since, well, they're for some reason effective against them, which they should not at all with this. Hmm. Okay. Um, I, I, unless I there is. I can see why. A, a theory. Metal usually reflects light. True. It, it it could be that the. It could maybe be that, the, the type chart is actually wrong. Hmm. Yeah. It, like it could be me. It, the type shot and what we sell in game here is what it's supposed to be, but in the coding they may have forgotten to fix that. Maybe. Unless, hmm. unless both the shot in game and on paper are both misprints. Uh, let me take a look here. Uh, <laughs> Just quickly glancing at some of the formations here. It does seem to match up with the physical copy that I have in my hand now. So, yeah, I guess I guess it's a misprint that metal should would be ineffective against light. Hmm. Yeah, misprint or yeah, something the... wrong in the coding. Like yeah. they are supposed to be we not be effective, but if did not realize they uh, made that incorrect. Could be. It, it could be one or the other. At the very least for us, it will allow me to uh, level up Gigarex a lot faster. Since we have a lot of high-level fairies to harass here. In payback for all of the low-level fairies that have been harassing us. Yeah. And, yeah, they drop a good amount of coin as well. From while well, taking hits and just in the overworld, which <clears throat> will help me with leveling up the other fairies as well. Yep, and you can find out for all those colics you wanted. <laughs> hmm. Oh, Gigarax needs mana. Um. I, I, I okay. guess. I guess we can call it here then, because I know what I'm going to be doing for a while. Yeah, and of course I misheard you at that point. I thought you said Gigarix need mama. <laughs> yeah, technically they don't have parents except for the dwarves. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, a very technical issues stream today. Uh, let me get that bloody notepad there, because I started using one recently, which has been helping a lot. Pen, and on the stream page, let me add in fix OBS monitoring, or self-monitoring. What the heck? Hmm? And you said fix your model started to act up stuttery. Yeah, of course. <laughs> that, uh, that looks so freaky. Grind. <laughs> Gigarex. <laughs> Grease lock. And. Uh, not flat. What was the evolution called again? Uh. There. Oh, flag win. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Well, at least we fixed. At least we explored all of this, and we know what is this way. There are still parts that we could ex explore some other time, now because what? I know for Do a fact. For Shut up, Amy. I know for a fact that you can get to Dunmore uh, from the fairy garden. You just have to find the correct parts. Maybe use the air eddies to get across the chasm. Or maybe it's because uh, maybe through the other exit that we didn't go th too far through, I think. But, uh, yeah. Uh, hmm. Might as well quit program at the moment. And, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> a very rocky uh, stream today. Sorry about that. Uh, I, hmm. I had actually, um, I won't be able to stream tomorrow because then I have another late shift. But I think I should be able to stream the day after. I'll have to double check what my schedule is for, well, the day after the day after tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, that Hopefully would be... that means uh, Shantae Saturday or something? Uh, hopefully, yeah. Um, yeah, we, we'll need to grind with Sanzara, so it's best that we skip that for a stream. We'll get try and get in a stream with uh, Shantae. And then, uh, depending on how things go, maybe do a Showcase Sunday finally again. Or a Minecraft stream. Yeah, depending yeah. how things go. Yeah, we have been making quite a bit of progress in Minecraft that I'd like to show off. The create mod has been growing on me. I originally found it to be very annoying. But, yeah, I, I've been getting more used to it. Yeah, um, sometimes you just need to get used to it. Yeah, or get some instructions on it. Because <laughs> I don't <laughs> think the create mod has one of those... Uh, uh, how to books it i don't i'll need to double check that in minecraft i'll i'll actually go do that right after this because i i need a bit of a break from sanzara and the bloody fairies <laughs> uh, um but yeah uh hopefully shante and then minecraft or shote sunday finally again and next time sanzara i'll hope yeah next time I'll just go beat those bloody fairies, take a screenshot of what they say after, and after, once that is finally done, I'll start the stream of that again, when possible. Uh, but until then, yeah, well, we can do Shantae, Minecraft, and uh, uh, etc. <clears throat> That's good. So, for now... Uh, let's go see for anyone to raid because we haven't done that in a bit. So right, I've had the trebuchets. <laughs> oh, I see that uh, Azra Arcane is streaming. They're streaming Cult of the Lamb, which is a pretty new. Well, it's it's a very new game by uh, published by Devolver Digital, and in general, Devolver ha tends to be very good with the games they publish. Not always, but they always tend to be quirky. From what I've seen of Cult of the Lamb, I. I might want... I'll probably buy it myself. Maybe even stream it sometime. I'd be okay if I... I don't know. I, I've been planning to watch it, but I'd be holding off with it for some reason. And other than Azra, there's Storytime John, who is playing Cuphead. So, between the two, which would you say? Azra with Cult of the Lamb, or Storytime John and Cuphead? Hmm... We've streamed Azra a few times. We've raided Azra a few times before, but I don't think we've raided Story. Uh, we haven't uh, raided John before. Let's raid John. Oh, uh, I. Uh, I was. <clears throat> Twitch, uh, you wouldn't have been able to hear that, but Twitch was auto playing something with music. Uh, so let me mute the site. Head over to Storytime John's uh, stream, copy their name from it, and then head to our own channel. Oh, safety, that's oh. new in the options. Okay, I'll have to double check that. And right. slash raids. There we go. Raids created. Okay. Uh, 
hopefully by next time we'll have the bloody OBS audio uh, thing fixed. Uh, we'll have to we'll have to run some tests on that sometime. Uh, but other than that, thank you anyone has been watching now or later, and thank you as always, especially Rick here. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And loading the goodness into Trebuchets now. <laughs> And yeah, again, we'll try to fix it. And next time, Shantae or Minecraft, hopefully Shantae, because I do like that series. But until then, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks. And watch out for angry genies. Come on.